Hey guys, Jess Halleck here. Today I'm gonna do another review on a tool that I really have been wanting to try and have just been putting it off because I think I'm a little intimidated by what the results are gonna be. So we're gonna watch me use the Revlon hair dryer that uh, Molly has. Revlon Volumizer Hair Dryer. Gonna do exactly what it says, supposedly. So we'll see how this goes. I actually got this months ago and I just haven't opened it. I was debating whether to get the Dyson Airwrap and I've seen a few people use this and that it works, but I've seen it mainly on curly haired people smoothing their hair out and it's been great, but I wanted to try it and I clearly don't have curly hair, but I do have this one rule and it's that I don't use a straightener. I feel like that is what has preserved my blonde from breaking and I'm not saying all straighteners are bad. However, every single client I have that has breakage in the front, breakage through their top, the common denominator is they all use a straightener. So again, I don't want to say that's the only reason, but it's a consistent reason between everybody who has breakage. So I thought I'd try something else. I always blow dry my hair straight with a bore brush or a flat brush, flat bore brush uh, and a hair dryer. And I just smooth everything out. And I preach this to my clients constantly, especially my curly haired clients so that they're not straightening and then curling their hair to smooth it out. So I always say you can get the most out of your blow dry and honestly anything that you do wet to dry versus only heat related, it's gonna last way longer than you know rough drying your hair and then straightening it. That process doesn't last as long. So that's my reasoning. I wanted to try this. It says it gives volume and I like my hair when it's straight to have volume. So why not? <laughs> We're gonna try it out. So like I said, I haven't opened this yet. Hopefully, it's not like opening a kid's toy. Sometimes they make those toys as if like it was, I don't know, really dangerous. Because <laughs> the packaging is horrible. Okay. Ooh, it's so big. I don't, I don't know if I expected it to be so big. Really? Nothing. I mean, I'm glad. To me, that means it's serious. This is like hefty. <laughs> okay. So there's little boar bristles next to the bristle. Oh, and another, it says that it is tingle free. And in theory, I'm like, this could cause some serious havoc on someone's hair if it wasn't tingle free. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I am a professional. So I feel like if I can't do it, then we're really, really in trouble. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna plug this thing in. Okay. Uh, oh, there's little heat settings, just like a regular hair dryer. There's off, cool, and low, and high. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna jump right into it. All I have in my hair is a leave-in conditioner and oil and a little bit of a volumizing spray, very lightweight. Whoa, not a heavy one. And in general, my hair dries, I don't know, kinda quick. So we'll see how this goes. When I look for a hair dryer, I really pay attention to how hot it gets because you don't need heat to dry your hair, you need power. I'm nervous <laughs> and excited. Okay, I'm gonna try the high heat. Okay. Hold on, I'm like really freaking out. This thing has a lot of power. It's already really hot. <laughs> uh, that makes me nervous. Okay. Brushed it out. Let's try this again.
first thought, uh, it's using heat to dry because normally with my hair dryer, I can it's dry within like three or four passes, but it has a, it's really really powerful. So this took I don't know how many times that was, but a lot more than four. And yeah, this is really cool. Uh, you can twist it, which I, it just seemed natural. I didn't even I was like this. I don't know, it could, it could, you could just do it like that, but I'm like, oh, twisting, okay. And it like self-rotates, so it's not like your cord gets all tangled up. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> One section done. I really like how the shape is turning out. It, it, bleh, bleh. it has volume through here, and then it like comes nicely down. I'm really excited. I will say it's it's freaking hot though. So I'm gonna try my next uh, section on the cool setting, um, just to see if I can still get the same result. I, uh, I just, uh, I f um, yeah. So this high heat is kind of messing with my my morals. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this on the cool. Uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna take me forever on cool. 
but it makes me feel so much better not to have it on high heat, but I need it to be on, on the hot, so I'm going to do that. But, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll tell you when I'm done. I'm so excited about this. Like, 
I go to grab it and my it like burns my hand. Not this. My hair is getting that hot. The only thing that makes my hair that hot is like my curling iron, maybe? Ugh, okay. That part is, it lost the point. But I can't believe how easy it is to use. Like, mind blown how easy it is to use. I kind of wish I would have done a mousse in my hair because that's like super volume. I'd probably look like a, a monster, but it'd be huge and amazing at the same time. <laughs>
But let's just point out the fact that normally this is the hardest part of your hair to do. And this is so easy. Throw your straighteners away. <laughs> I mean it, oh my gosh. Okay, I normally, yes, my hair is easier to do than someone with curly hair, but I can get a curly haired person straight with a blow dryer and a brush. This, if you can brush your hair, you can use this. I am so floored at how easy this was because the hardest part about getting volume in your hair is these back sections and blow drying straight up. Everyone's like, oh, this is hard, I can't do it. This little grippy thing was genius because I could like support myself or hold on to it and you can twist it as you're going. Like, I love this. I am so happy. Throw away your shaders, did I say that already? Yeah, 
throw them away. <laughs> yes, this gets hot, but not as hot as your straightener. I promise you. And when I got to the front parts, I bumped it down to cool because cool is still enough and the front of your hair is very, very fragile. So for this, don't torch your front. Keep it on cool because it's still warm. And oh my gosh, this is amazing. Good job, Revlon. I'm so excited for my clients to use this who are curly and who normally blow dry their hair, then straighten it, then curl it. No, that is way too much. Make sure that you are using a really good heat protectant and if your hair is wet, that means a very good oil. Not a just spray in heat protectant. Use an oil so it has more to work through because an oil is thicker than a spray. But my review, I love this thing. I am so excited for my clients to try this out. Um, I think it's very user friendly. Everything about it. I love the boar bristles. It didn't tangle once. It twists. It's just so easy to use. And I still blow dried my hair in a decent amount of time. So, sold. Try it out. If you're wanting to try it, I will link this below. I got mine on Amazon, it came super quick, and I am so happy with it. So if you have any other suggestions or tools you want me to try, let me know, comment below, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.